I'm Ryan Meyer for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Last week, we hosted Google I.O., our annual developer conference. If you weren't able to join us or just want to relive the magic, you can find the keynotes and all the sessions on YouTube by following the link below. Here's a taste of some of the highlights. We're excited to share with you 11 Jetpack libraries that can be used in development today. Camera X, now in alpha, enables you to create great camera-driven experiences in your app without worrying about the underlying device behavior. It gives you access to the same functionality as the native camera app, including features like portrait, night, HDR, where supported. Also in alpha, there's live data and life cycles with coroutines, view model with safe state, and lots, lots more. We also open sourced an early preview of Jetpack Compose, a new unbundled toolkit designed to simplify UI development by combining a reactive programming model with the conciseness and ease of use of Kotlin. Find out more about all these new Jetpack APIs in the post below. Android Studio 3.5 Beta is ready to download. We heard that you wanted us to focus even more on quality and stability over features, so we kicked off Project Marble, focused on making the fundamental features and flows of the IDE rock solid. Android Studio 3.5 is the culmination of this effort. Find out more about it from the link below. The Firebase team has launched three more capabilities in beta. On-device translation allows you to use the same offline models that support Google Translate to provide fast, dynamic translation of text in your app into 58 languages. Object detection and tracking lets your app locate and track in real time the most prominent object in a live camera feed. With AutoML Vision Edge, you can easily create custom image classification models tailored to your needs. Just upload your training data to the Firebase console and you can use Google's AutoML technology to build a custom TensorFlow Lite model for you to run locally on your user's device. You can learn more about these and other new Firebase features in the blog post shown below. At I.O., the Flutter team announced an expansion of their focus from mobile to incorporate a broader set of devices and form factors. They released their first technical preview of Flutter for Web and announced that Flutter is powering Google's smart display platform and delivering the first steps towards supporting desktop class apps with Chrome OS. Furthermore, Chrome OS is a great developer workstation for building general purpose Flutter apps, thanks to its support for developing and running Flutter apps locally on the same device. To learn how you can target Chrome OS with Flutter and how to run the Flutter development tools on Chrome OS, you can follow the instructions in the post below. Open Images v5 features segmentation masks for 2.8 million object instances in 350 categories. Unlike bounding boxes, which only identify regions in which an object is located, segmentation masks mark the outline of objects, characterizing their spatial extent to a much higher level of detail. We've put particular effort into ensuring consistent annotations across different objects. Check out the post below to learn more about Open Images v5 and how you can participate in the Open Images Challenge. Don't forget to check out all the amazing Google I.O. sessions available on YouTube, and please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Ray Demeyer for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching. Yay! Another new t-shirt. Just what I needed. <laughs> You've already got two closets for <laughs> Exactly.